Hi, my Capricorns. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. Um, I've got pendulums for divination and prophecy and lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. Um, this is something that will be on the website all the time from now on. All right, so... Keep in mind, these are general readings. These are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to um, check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Okay, this is what's going on. So I feel like for some of you, you do have either it's you or a fellow earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that just does not want to let go. I also feel like maybe the reason why some, or, or this could be any other zodiac sign, and the reason why they're kind of clinging to you is because they think maybe money's going to be involved. It's kind of like, oh, hell no. Oh, this person's coming into money? Oh, I'm, just, I'm supposed to just walk away now? Oh, no, oh hell no. I'm going to get mine. So this could be um, an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, man or a woman. So I feel like... Some of you know what this person is up to, but it's kind of like you have feelings for them. So even though you know you're about to get duped or used, it's kind of like you're, it's a worth it to you because you love them. You know, love is blind, but I feel like you guys are not blind to what's going on. You're like, well, I got to pay the Pied Piper. You know, I got to pay to play that kind of thing. Some of you are a little bit programmed into thinking that. So this could be like a pimp ho situation, stripper, stripper trick situation, hook, hooker tr trick situation, something like where I know if I don't pay, this person won't want me. This could even be like a sugar daddy type deal, whatever this deal is, or maybe you think somebody's special and oh, who, why would they hang out with me unless I had money to give? So I, I hope none of you are thinking this way, but I got to tell you what the cards say. And if you are thinking this way, please stop now. This is no way to live. Now, let me see. Um, I do see that for some of you, you do have a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius the person that did turn their back on you. But again, as soon as they see those dollar bills, they're coming back in. I do see that some of you have an ex, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or somebody with the sun, moon, or rising. They're coming back from the past. Some of you are convinced that this person is coming back from the past just to get money from you. Some of you are thinking, oh yeah, they think I got money. Oh, oh they must be in trouble. Oh yeah, they want something from me. Um, I don't think that that's what they're doing. I think that they're more like reminiscing about the past and they're sort of like, it's sort of like maybe things were really horrible between the two of you, but maybe they're like reminiscing about, this could easily be you, but they're reminiscing about the past kind of like, oh, um, you know, we did have a good, oh, this person was the love of my life, but they forgot, you know, maybe you beat them or you were doing drugs or whatever it was, whatever was going on, or they did this to you. But somebody sort of romanticizing the past when it was actually a living hell and there was nothing good about it. So I do feel like maybe the this water sign or this could be you that's calmer now. You're more focused now or they are more focused and that's a good thing. But I feel like you two bring out the worst in each other. So, you know, dip your toe in the water before you, you know, jump out into the sea. Make sure that the waters are calm, meaning the person's, you know, not explosive, that they're healthy. Think about it. I do feel like some of you have a new earth sign coming, somebody you do not know already. And it's almost going to be like God sent them to you. So it's like everything that you want in a person, it looks like they're headed your way. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but I'm picking up strong energy of Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I feel like it's long term. It's sort of like seeds well planted. It's kind of like you've been through a lot. And it was like sort of like training day or your karmic debt you were paying off. But whoever this person is, you're going to look back and say, you know what? All of that struggle I was dealing with was worth it. I also see that there is this Knight of Cups here. So I feel like some of you have a new water sign coming in. 
I feel like this new water sign could possibly be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but big emphasis on a Cancer. Um, I do feel like for a water sign man or woman, they're kind of cold. Like they'll just give you a few scraps and then kind of pull it back. I feel like maybe some of you maybe have been with water signs in the past and you kind of know sort of what to expect, but this person's going to be like very, very different. It's going to be kind of like dating a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Very, um, you know, it's not going to be texting all day and night. It's not going to be lovey-dovey words. It's not going to be any of that. So I feel like some of you are going to be like, what the hell? You know, I, I didn't think it was going to be like this. Do they even like me? If you know that that's something you can't deal with, that person, that personality type, this person doesn't speak your love language, why don't continue on with them. Let them go and find someone who does. Because I feel like this person will be a waste of time for you. They'll definitely give you mixed messages and you're going to be confused a lot of the time. I also see somebody's going out of town or out of the country to meet with like a, with like a pen pal romantic situation. But they're going to come right back like, what was I thinking? I love my wife or I love my my uh, husband. Like, what was I thinking? So somebody's definitely coming back. I feel like it's not really from the past because I feel like they're leaving your house to go out of town to go meet with this other man or woman. And then they come back and they're like, I made a mistake. I'm sorry I did this. But there's a lot of reconciliation coming up this week and a lot of people coming to their senses this week. Or whatever they do this week, they'll be coming to their senses soon. All right, my cappies, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.